The E3 Expo is always a kaleidoscope of color, clamor, and crowds eager to experience the newest in cutting-edge electronic entertainment. This year, everyone is talking about Fortnite, the massively popular multiplayer battle royale game. I'm just madly in love with it. Like, all the dances and moves, and battle royale is my favorite mode. If you're a parent, you've probably seen your kids playing Fortnite non-stop. If you are a millennial, you're probably playing it right now. I'd say I spend more time than I should, yeah, yeah. I probably spent a few hundred hours in the time I played. Um, it's hard to keep track. Game industry professionals say Fortnite could be, if you'll excuse the pun, a game changer. Right now it's hot, like everyone wants to get in on the battle royale genre, you know, the last player standing genre. I think like the, the coolest thing about Fortnite is the fact that it's cross-platform play. You know, so when you're playing on mobile, you could be going up against someone who's on PC or console. This year's E3 features plenty of the game industry's bread and butter, bullets, bombs, and blood. This is Ubisoft's take on Homer's epic The Odyssey, a new addition to its Assassin's Creed franchise. Forget the poetry, bring on the gore. It's kind of going back to the very gun-heavy, uh, really, uh, like I saw some stuff that's just ultra-violent. But there are other games that reflect the times we live in. There's an amazing game on mobile called Bury Me My Love, which is a, it's the story of a Syrian refugee. You play the Syrian refugee texting his wife as she travels across Europe. Video games don't get the artistic respect that recorded music and films do. The gaming industry has already long surpassed the recorded music and the cinema industry in terms of revenue as a source of entertainment. And huge new markets for electronic entertainment are opening up in China and the developing world. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles.